This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Philippines, good evening. Naim Bagarabi, Masanto siya sa labing si kayo amin, Maya Pabengi Keka. Marahin na banggi sa Indugabos, maupay nga gabi, ha iyong uh, tanahan dila. Buenas noches, maayong mayang gabi sa Tibuk Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, up to Saba. Uh, kay Palhal, marhaban kay Palik. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Aswala, Malaykum, Rahmatuli, Tala, Barakatu. Ako po si Eric Espina and this is Republika. As part of our series uh, featuring uh, and profiling uh, possible senatorables uh, in the 2019 elections. We are again featuring uh, another prominent name um, and the title of the program is Independent Osmeña and we will find out why he is called Independent Osmeña. We have none other than Senator Serge Osmeña. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> Fine, thank you. It's good to see you again. Why is Serge Osmeña running? Well, in view of all the problems that have, uh, that have cropped up today, mm -hmm. I felt that I could lend a voice, mm -hmm. especially into the economic problems, the mm -hmm. inflation, mm -hmm. the rise in prices of rice, mm -hmm. of uh, other prime commodities. Mm -hmm. So I, I said, you know, friends, friends were telling me, why don't you run uh, just to lend a voice to those of us who feel we need a voice? Mm -hmm. And so I'm running. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sure you have, you have your own observations about the train law. Uh, should we suspend some of its provisions? What is your take on it? Well, the train law or the trabajo law? Which one? Well, the train law first, okay. and then we'll go into the trabajo law. The train law, there was a, a men, uh, there's an amendment. There was an art, uh, art article there that raised the price of diesel by 250 Okay. That should be suspended. Okay. Now, how to suspend that will require a congressional amendment. Uh -huh. Because it's already a law. Eh? Yes, yes. And, it, and it's already being implemented. Uh -huh. So it could have to require a congressional amendment. They should amend it right away, uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. And uh, amend it in such a way that it will kick in only when our inflation goes down. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Okay. All right? Uh, then secondly, the trabajo law, yes. no, no, the train law has another two pesos mm -hmm. coming in January 1. Uh -huh. That has to be suspended also. Uh -huh. So at least 450, four pesos and 50 centavos of the price of diesel will, uh -huh. <laughs> will, <laughs> yeah, malaki, malaki, yes, yes. that's big because yes, four, yes. 450 is about 10, 10 percent of yes, uh, yes. the price of diesel. No? Uh -huh. So that's what I would recommend. Mm -hmm. Then as far as the rice is concerned, you have to bring in the rice. Mm -hmm. You have to allow all the importations because what happened was that pinabayaan ng Napukor uh -huh. and they allowed the rice to go down to 2%. Okay. If you don't have rice, the traders will start yes. hoarding the rice yes, of course. to bring up the prices. Yes, yes. So you have to have that rise about at least 5% uh -huh. to make buga uh -huh. that the traders cannot fool around with yes, the yes. price. Yes. So it's just, it's just a matter of economics. It's supply and demand. Mm -hmm. If the supply is there, mm -hmm. prices will go down. Mm -hmm. If the supply is 
withheld, mm -hmm. prices, prices will go, go up. up. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask this of you, Senator. No? Were you on board as far as your own readings on the train law? Or, you know, there are observations that we're not even able to collect our taxes, you know, uh, 85, 90 percent. And if they say that if we can even collect 85 to 90 percent, we won't even need a train law. Uh, what's your take on that? Well, no, it's not 85 to 90 percent. Uh, we're not collecting about 20 to 30 percent of our taxes. Yes. But that's really difficult to do. Okay. You know? uh, there, there, There's many reasons, but... It's difficult to, comp to make it 100%. It's even difficult to make it 90%. Okay. So, what would be a good ratio, um, as far as I, you're concerned? Which would I, be effective I really collection? Don't, I really don't have a handle on that because there are so many mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> little uh, okay. details. details there that... But in any case, uh, be that as it may, we will continue to collect those taxes. Uh -huh. We will continue to try to collect those taxes. Okay. But in the meantime, that we cannot, we have to lower the other taxes. Okay. No? Um, well, I mean, I, I, I think that essentially, um, as a country, no, uh -huh. we are really going to go through this, where are the taxes? The taxes are not being collected, so therefore collect those first. But, but muna, I need money now. Yes, yes. And so I have to find a way to put on other taxes that more easily more easily collectable, collectable yeah. than than those. Uh -huh. So that's that's where we are. Okay. How about the trabajo law that you uh, mentioned? Well, the trabajo law. All right. There are those who say that. The well, well, the people inside the PESA will will start mm -hmm. packing up and leaving. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I, I I think that a few will, mm -hmm. but that's not going to be much. Mm -hmm. I have to see the law itself because yes. I, I I'm not seeing the law itself. Uh -huh. But um, what I think will will happen is that those who have halos uh, forever na yung tax holiday nila, wag the bad, no? Because first, it is impossible for them uh, to have a forever clause yes. in a, in a tax, uh, situ tax situation. Yes. So we will give them five years, even yes, ten yes. years. Yes, yes. But after that, they start back, paying back back to regular. No? Yes, yes. That the, 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 they uh, they can uh, collect already whatever they spent, uh -huh. collect already. Uh, the upfront expenses that they uh -huh. did, uh -huh. but after that, it has to go back. So what I think we should do is pinpoint mm -hmm. exactly which companies these are, and, and then not just make it blanket. No? Mm -hmm. We will we'll, we'll pinpoint. There are, there, there are companies that I say, I'm coming here because of this, yes. because of your taxes. Uh -huh. Okay, so we will give them that. Uh -huh. But there are other companies that don't come here because of that. Uh -huh. They really come here because it's it's, it's okay to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a good labor force. They have, for goodness sake, let them pay the same tax as everybody yes, else. Yes, no? yes, yes, yes. Because you and I, we pay the same yes, tax. Yes. So why will somebody who's so big get a break on, on the taxes? Uh -huh. So ganun lang. Uh -huh. but, but having said that, we have to lower our corporate income tax. Okay. How about flat tax? Uh, do you believe in flat tax? No, no I don't, don't believe, believe in flat, flat tax. tax. Okay. No, because uh, flat taxes will be non-progressive. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, it will re hit the poor as, uh -huh. as much as the rich, uh -huh. and uh, that that would not be forthcoming. Okay, I, I'll ask this of you, Senator, because there are those who say that in the last election you actually won. Yeah, uh, and well, that. Uh, you know, you were one of those deprived by those who, who topped the top the, <laughs> the Senate uh, yeah, slate. The, the, you know, that would have come to a fore if Andy Bautista had been here, because Andy Bautista was responsible for those shenanigans mm -hmm. in the Comelec, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's why he made 1.4 billion pesos. Mm -hmm. So, but he's abroad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we cannot get uh, mm -hmm. him here. 
But if we can get him here and, and subject him to a Senate hearing or a, a, a regular investigation, you will see what happened there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure a lot of your friends, your followers, have said that you actually won and they voted yeah. for you. Well, uh, I was, no. I'm very sophisticated in this, in the sense that I got the um, survey uh -huh. on May 3rd. May 3rd already, May 3rd, uh, yeah, May 3rd. The May 3rd uh, survey of the uh, SWS yes. and compared it with the May 9th results of the okay. elections. Uh -huh. I was number six in May 3rd. Uh -huh. I was number 14 in May 9th. Okay. okay. So I, I looked uh, and saw what happened, and they added 6% to several people. Mm -hmm. So I was knocked down. Yes, of okay. course. So I was knocked down only to number 11. Uh -huh. And then in comes the Liberal Party. Uh -huh. And they added, no, they, add, no, they added two and a half points, uh -huh. two and a half percent to Recto, 2.5% to Dilema, and deducted 2.5% from, from me, from me. So that's another 5%, so I went down to 14. Well, you were part of the Liberal Party, obviously. No, I was not part of the Liberal you Party. You were not part of the no, Liberal no, Party no. then? As a matter of fact, I was endorsed by uh, President Duterte. Okay. So, so you became the victim of the Liberal Party? Yeah. And that could, is that the reason, is that the basis that now, our title is Independent Usmania because you're running no, independent. No, I've always been running independent. I ran independent in 2016. I ran as an independent in 2010. Mm -hmm. And even in 2001, I was running as an independent, mm -hmm. except that they, they wanted me to go with, with the, what would they call it, People Power Coalition. I said, yes, I'm a People Power Coalition, mm -hmm. but I will campaign alone. Mm -hmm. So that's what I, I did. So I've always been an independent, although, Strictly speaking, I am PDP Laban because I swore in before PDP Laban in 1999. Okay. <laughs> but PDP Laban is everywhere. So, oh. <laughs> so which 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 are you now, Senator? You're no, I'm I'm still I'm, PDP, I'm still, still PDP Laban. P, uh, PDP Laban, but only in name. <laughs> you you don't want to be part of uh, Coco Pimentel's uh, no, group. No, no, no. And they haven't invited you either. No, they haven't invited. Are they aware that you're PDP Laban also? I, I think uh, Coco <laughs> is. Yeah, Coco yeah. is because I've never changed my party. Uh -huh. But you prefer to run as independent. Independent. And yet the Osmania name is very much, you know, part of the, the roots and the history of the Liberal Party. You, you no, I saw a nationalist party. My grandfather founded yes, the nationalist yes. party. Yes, yes. And then the Liberal and Party the later Liberal on. Party, yes. Yeah, oh. It doesn't matter because the, the party or the parties nowadays don't really stand for anything. They're like birthday parties. Yes. <laughs> it's that's a celebration right. to some. <laughs> so you'd rather run as independent. Right. They like, they're, they're like birthday parties. They're like birthday parties. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you, uh, no, you, you can see right now uh, what does PDP Laban stand for. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't even know if they have a, a full 12 man ticket. Uh -huh. So we, we don't know if President Duterte is supporting their 12 man ticket. Okay. So, it's not neither here nor there. Uh -huh. Okay, we're going to pause for a few reminders. We'll continue talking to uh, Senator Sergio Smenya after this break. <laughs>